All right, guys. Good, Penny. Good, 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 good. Come here. Good, Finn. Good, come here. Good. Good, Hulk. So we're about to train this guy. Now we're gonna be using a prong collar. And we're gonna be demonstrating that. We're use it properly. We're not gonna be using treats this time, although treats are a very good thing to utilize when you're training your Frenchie, or any dog rather, for that matter. Rather. So we're gonna be working with Auntie Sky, Penny, is their mom. And Hulk. But the thing is, these two little girls, they like to run things. They're very bossy. Look how much she's gonna boss him around. See, she's acting good right now because she knows we're videotaping we're watching. Hey, Sky. We're doing, Sky. Now, you notice Sky? Sky is one of those kind of dogs. Oh, how cute. That doesn't pay any attention. Oh, how funny. That doesn't pay any attention to you at all. She doesn't even look back to see who she's ignoring. Good, 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 Sky. Oh, good look. You finally looked. Good, good, good. Look. Penny. Good, Penny. Junior. Good, 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 Junior. Good, Hulk. Sky. See that she doesn't even look. So she's good, 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 good. Good, come here, Sky. Good, come here, Sky. And every time she jumps up, I'm going to step away from her. So we're going to commence the training with Sky and with Penny. It's going to be good. Good, 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 Penny. Penny's been here so many times. She's never graduated, though. Like I keep saying, she's just never stayed long enough. Good sit, Finn. So I'm worried that our time with Hulk and all the others is running out quickly. They'll always come back, though. Keep posted if you haven't already subscribed so you can see all the videos that we're going to have with the Frenchies. We're teaching them cute little tricks as well. Good, 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 good. Pretty girl, Sky. Good, come here, Sky. Good, come here, Sky. She's not necessarily coming to me, but just because she's walking in my direction, good look. I'm utilizing the good word theory. If she looks up at me, I'm going to say the word, the phrase, good look. Good fit. All right, let's make it happen. All right, so the first rule of Frenchie Club is let them get tired. Trust good. Trust me. Go outside, have a little fun with them, get them a little bit tired. So during your first training session, don't get them pooped. Now, it's hard to get an, a, a Frenchie wore out, to be honest with you. They, they can go all day long, provided the temperature's cool enough. We keep it pretty cool in here. But get them to the point where they've slowed down by at least 30, 40 to percent. When they still got good settle, baby. Good settle. When they still got a little bit in the tank. How cute. When they still got just a little bit in the tank. You're going to want to work with them because you're going to have better compliance. So we're not working with him right now. Nor with her. Nor with Junior. We're going to work Sky. You see how she's still up and about? Matter of fact, I wonder if she's coming into heat. Because look, she's... Look like I know she's not spayed, but it looks like she's getting kind of swollen back there. We gotta check it, yeah. If so, she's gonna have to go home. Good, 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 good. Yes, good, good, good. Cute. All right. Grab the leash and training collar, please, cranberry. Good setup. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this. If you've already seen how to use this collar, then skip ahead. But you see what Cranberry did there? He connected the leash, then put the leash over his shoulder blade. And see, Finn already knows what's up. Finn knows we're about to train. Penny knows we're about to train. Finn, Finn wants to go training. He's an eager beaver, unlike Sky. Now, watch how we're gonna do it. We're not gonna call her to us because she's not gonna come to us right now. So, all right. So, Cranberry, why don't you walk at a normal pace, please, like a regular human being? See, so walk, yeah, we'll just keep walking though. Just move at a normal pace. You're walking really slow, which is creepy. Especially for the dog, you don't want to creep the dog out. Just want to walk at a normal pace. There you go. Walk up to the dog and tell the dog. Put the collar on the dog without asking the dog to do anything. He needs more leads. Oh my go good lord. You don't have them on your person? No. Fuck, man. Good God. Oh, I just stepped on this dog. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry about that. All right. So, rule number two of Frenchie Club, okay? You got to be prepared. For the love of goodness, you should already know how many links, because you can increase or decrease the links on the collar, as I just spoke about in that video. Good, good, good. All right, this will be a good time to show everybody how we do it. Yeah. Right, here we are with the leash. Now we use a leash this small on all the dogs regardless of how large they are.
even if the dog is 150 pounds we're going to use this six foot leash that is actually made for a kitten six feet in length very thin very small very lightweight which is the most crucial and look at the clasp so small yeah this whole thing can't weigh very much the less your training equipment weighs the more likely your dog will be unaware of it and make the transition into off-leash work that much smoother and easier if you're using a heavy leash and a heavy training collar your dog's going to be well aware of when that training leash and collar is on. Let's try to blur the line some, yeah? So here's the training collar that we're going to use. Now this training collar is made for a small dog, like a Jack Russell Terrier, something small. We use this collar, this small collar, on all the dogs, regardless of their size. Even if the dog is, like I say, 150 pounds, we're going to use this collar. We're just going to use multiple collars so we can increase the radius by adding links. You can decrease the radius by removing links. In the same way that I'm removing the links and adding the links is how I'm going to put it around the dog. Yes, yeah, so ideally you want to check the flow of the chain, make sure it's not tangled. That doesn't allow it to perform. You want to make sure it's unencumbered, yes? Then we're going to put it on. You don't need a lot of strength to do this. I'm going to squeeze these tips. Now it might seem like I'm squeezing somewhere else, but I'm actually just squeezing those tips. And then I'm going to put them inside these little holes, yeah? So look, it's on. Now to take it off, I'm going to push it down on one link. As I push up with my forefinger on the link that it is connected to, so I'm pushing down and up simultaneously. Then I squeeze a little bit and it comes off, yeah, voila. And again, you wanna use lightweight collars. If you use the collar that they recommend for a Conic Corso, that collar is about that big. The dog is very aware of having that collar on. This collar, ideally, we can try to blur the line and make him feel as if he's naked. Good, 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 good. All right, now cranberry. Perfect, now this is very important, yes? You know, a lot of people say their dog gets excited when they grab the leash. If your dog is getting excited when it's grabbing the leash, then your dog is being miscued. It is better for your dog to not get excited when you grab the leash and to get excited when you put the leash over your shoulder blade like that. Because now the cue becomes the leash being put over your shoulder blade, over your left shoulder blade, and the dog knows that he's gonna get tethered and training is about to happen, or at least a walk, okay? Very, very, very good. And then when you're gonna put it onto the dog, you're gonna approach the dog, and you're going to, there you go, you're gonna put it on the dog like this, yes? Calmly, without asking the dog to sit. Once you put the collar on, you can apply a little bit of pressure to put the dog into the sit. And then you praise the dog for the sit, yes? And again, get into the habit of grabbing the leash often, carrying it around and putting it up without putting the dog on the leash. When you are going to put the dog on the leash, differentiate the gesture by slapping that leash over your shoulder and going into that position and your dog is going to start sitting, eagerly anticipating the training session. All right, good, go ahead. Good, good, good. Perfect, now don't pull on her. No pulling, okay? I just want her to have natural momentum. We may or may not put the other dogs up if they start getting too much in the way. So you notice I didn't say anything to him. I didn't say him the N word or anything. I didn't say the word no. I just picked it up and I'm gonna move it away. If I, if I stop asking him, he's gonna think that I want that. And I don't, okay? I don't want that. All right. So we're gonna get the training done. Need, need you to be quiet, Bentley. Good, you good. All right, guys, good down. All right, very, very, very good. All right, good, 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 good. So we had to put everybody up because they were just getting in the way, all these little eager beavers. It's a good thing though, yes? I'll be honest with you guys, I'd rather have all of them out and about underfoot. The issue with that is that they might physically get hurt. So I'm gonna be commenting on what in addition 
No, sir. Enough of that. Be commenting on what Cranberry is doing in addition to guiding him. So see, every time she stalls, he's doing that perfectly. There you go. Stop, stop, stop. Good, 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 good. Good. Now the one thing that he is leaving out of the equation is proper praise whenever she does the right thing. But I'm going to be doing the praise for him so that we're sure the timing is good. Good, 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 good. I'm praising there because she's walking. Good, 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 good. Even though she's walking wide, at least she's walking. Now we are going to do this, this exercise again with treats. I'm gonna be videotaping that session as well. And just to put it in perspective for you guys, the session that we're videotaping right now, we're gonna do this with her today, maybe five, six more times, each of us. Each training session, we like to keep them short and sweet, especially when you're with a Frenchie. Now, right now, instead of praising like I should have been doing, I was speaking to you all. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. And you see how I'm praising there? Now, I know it seems like I am because I am praising when she's backing up, but I'm betting that part of her, at least 55% of her, is thinking about moving with her. All right, dogs aren't as good, 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 good heel. What a pretty heel. Look like a little show dog. Such a pretty baby. Very good. Keep going, keep going, a little nip. Every time she stops, we're going to nip. Nip and keep walking, nip and keep walking. If you stop walking, she wins. You have to be more stubborn than the dog. Good, 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 good. That's why you want to keep these sessions short and sweet. Come towards me, please. Now, as you come to a stop, I want you to start apply applying pressure up towards your right shoulder blade and slow down 50%. Very good. Now look, now that pressure is going to make her put her butt on the ground. Good sit. Good sit, so pretty, good stay. Okay, apply pressure. Every time she stands up without permission, good sit. We're going to apply pressure. What a pretty girl, what a good sit. Pretty girl for it. Good, Ben. Good, Kylo. Good sit, my love. Okay. Now, don't touch her because she's falling to the ground, but you can't touch her to initiate. I know, baby. You want work too, huh? You're going to get worked. Now, just tell her to heal and start to walk. Heal and start to walk. Heal. heal. Good heal. You see how he stepped off on his left foot? Very important. Good job, Cranberry. Turn to the right, please. Good heel. Good. A little bit more slack. Good heel. Good, 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 good. What a beautiful heel. Come towards me, please. This dog's doing way better than I expected. Start to slow down and come to a stop. Apply pressure up towards your right shoulder blade very calmly. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good sit, baby. Now you're going to tell her to stay. Tell her to stay. And you're going to walk around her in front of her. Very good. Apply pressure. Good. Walk all the way around her now. Again, you're doing perfect, Cranberry. Every time she gets up, you're going to bite. So this is a full, a full prolonged bite until she puts her butt on the ground. Different than a nip. A nip is what you use when you're walking at a heel. Okay, I'll show you guys that again here shortly. Good sit. So every time she gets up from a stay in a, at an inappropriate time, we're going to apply pressure until she puts her butt back on the ground, which, at which point you release pressure. Tell her to heel and start to walk, please, so I can show them a nip. You don't have to heel. touch him. Good job. See how he stepped off on his left foot? Good heel. Now watch when, I, when he nips or I tell him to nip. Turn to the left. Nip, nip, that's a nip. Nip, nip. See, so instead of biting and holding, you want to nip and keep walking. Come towards me, please. Cut left. Good heel. Perfect. Cut left. Good, good. Slow down. Come to a stop. Look at that. Beautiful. Now she's even doing it before he can finish the bite. Oh, but she got up. Good. She's being a lot less stubborn than I thought, but remember, we tired her out a little bit. Walk around her, please. Good. Stay. Stay. Oh, apply pressure. Now stand right next to her, please. Good job. Good stay. Perfect, Cranberry. Now we're going to utilize the hand signal. I want you to put the leash in your left hand. All of the leash in your left hand. Now stand up straight, please. Apply pressure if she gets up. Now you're going to put your right hand in front of you and say stay. Not in front of her face, in front of, like you're going to shake my hand. Yeah. Like you're going to, no, apply pressure. Like you're going to shake my hand. That's not how you would shake my hand. Forget about the dog. Like you're going to shake my hand. Forget about the dog. There you go, stay. It doesn't matter how big or small the dog is. You don't put your hand in front of their face. You just make the signal and teach them to pay attention to you through their peripheral vision. Okay. Stay. Yeah. Walk away, walk, apply pressure and walk around please. Apply pressure, apply pressure. And you see he's trying to apply pressure as he walks so she doesn't realize that she can stop him from stay. walking. Good job, good stay, good hand signal. All the way around. Okay, very good. Now stand right next to her. Now Cranberry, you're going to pretend like you don't know what I'm gonna teach you right now, okay? So I need you to do your best to forget your instincts, all right? You're good, stay baby. Now you're gonna keep the leash in your left hand. You're going to walk a couple of feet with her. You're going to stop. You're going to place her into the sit. And then you're going to do the hand signal for sit, which is an open palm that you're going to rise up towards you. Sit. Okay. Okay? With your right hand, yes? You don't need to do it in front of her face. She needs to learn to look at you through her peripheral vision. Okay. She's doing amazing. Heel. Heel. Good heel. Slow down. Come to a stop. 
Beautiful yeah. cranberry? I mean, you did that like an expert, but you are an expert, huh? <laughs> That's why people should subscribe so they can see your expert handling. Good, 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 good. A lot of times I want cranberry to make mistakes so that people learn. Good, 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 good. Thank you all so much for watching, especially if you stuck around to the end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Right, Cranberry? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Paw that bell so you'll be notified when we upload another video. I'm going to put links under the, in the description so you guys can access their page. Uh, Mookie Jr. Hulk. They're bred by Adrian, okay? A Adrian is one of our best customers, refers a lot of people to us, and breeds beautiful Merle Frenchies. Now, they do have a good price tag, right? I mean, they're, they're several thousands of dollars, but they're worth it right and we really appreciate all the referrals and everything that we get from adrian no we cranberry take your hat off son oh. talking about adrian for the love of god yeah thank you. show some respect put some respect on his name all right good 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 look she even stayed put during that whole exchange good stay now you're going to tell her to go bananas please go, go bananas. bananas so pretty take her off the leash now Good, good, good. Really quickly, you don't want to get into the habit of taking the dog off, the leash and collar off the dog immediately. Look, she's even healing with him still. Good heal. Go with it, go with it. Good heal. Good, good, good. Oh, pretty girl. So see, we rewarded her for the short time she spent at his side on her own. Good heal. Good word theory. Start using it, yes? Watch. Impromptu engagement, yes? Good. Come on, engage your hole. Well, like he was engaged, you saw, well, if you notice that the dog is starting to pay attention to you, you should take time to engage them, yeah? But we just noticed that with Little Hulk and Cranberry. Good, Finn. Good, good, good. Good, Junior. Good, Hulk. Good, Penny. Okay, well, he lost interest, so. Good, good, good. Look, there he goes. Good. Good, Hulk. Good, Junior. Look, we're looking for engagement. We want them to put their butt on the ground. Good. Good, Junior. Good, Junior. Good, Junior. Good, Junior. Okay. Part of the mistake there, I wouldn't lean in too far because that's making him jump. See the, see the leaning in? Stop that. Okay. And that's making him jump. So for yeah. him, you got a good, good, good. <laughs> Look, good. Good. He's not doing at all. Look, he's going to put his butt on the ground. Good. He just distracted. Look. I'm gonna, I'm, every time he jumps, that's sick. And every time he jumps, you have to back away. That way, you're, the opposite thing is coming. You're not hugging him. Good. Sit, sit down. Good sit. Again, yeah, watch. Good. Good sit. See that? Okay, you see that? Look, good, good, good. Good, Paul almost did it too. Good, 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 Junior. All right, good heel. Good, 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 Bubba's. Good, good, good. Good sit, Hulk. Cut him. He did it. Awesome, man. Good, 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 good. Let's see if he'll do it again. Every time he, good sit. Every time he jumps back, take a step back, okay? Good, good, good. Good sit, Hulk. They're engaged with you. Look. Good sit, Hulk. Man, this little dog Hulk's on fire now. Good sit, Hulk. Without any treats, just a good word theory. Just being happy that he's putting his butt on the ground. Good stay, Papa. All right, awesome, huh? Good, 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 good. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Paw the bell so you'll be notified when we upload more videos of these cute little Frenchies. I appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you very, very, very much. Good, 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 good. Now that is going to the silence.